I think the snow is coming this weekend. Hi, gorgeous. It looks so good. So Asian food out of an English kitchen. Look, yeah, alright, it's in my... It's one degrees today. Okay, good morning. I have come to the pub this morning to a place called Weatherspoons, which is a well-known pub chain in the UK. They're scattered all around the UK. Um, they're known for really affordable food and alcohol. And so I've come with my dad this morning for breakfast and um, I just wanted to show you guys because this cost me £3.55 <laughs> for a full English breakfast. To be fair, it is a small breakfast, so it's not full English, but dad's was £3.95 and this basically has full English breakfast. It's so cheap, so for two of us, food and coffees this morning only cost £11. In Singapore, I think a breakfast like this will cost like $20 at least. Yeah. Dad's breakfast. <laughs> Uh -huh. This is dad's breakfast. This is mine. So I've got one hash brown, baked beans, bacon, fried egg, and sausage. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, guys, I am freezing to death. Um, but I've come out with my parents for another um, walk within. We're a couple of towns down from my town, so we're still in the Hertfordshire region. Um, and I thought I'd take you along again. It's another beautiful sunny day. Um, getting really lucky with these blue skies but I think the snow is coming this weekend so I am preparing for that um, but yeah this is a really really pretty town just thought I'd show you some of the things along our walk we stumbled across this public book box which I absolutely love these are quite rare to see but it's basically a book box in the middle of the village or neighborhood where the residents can share and swap books which I think is such a nice idea and then we took a stroll into the town. It's actually a historic market town. And I absolutely love the architecture here. It's still been really well maintained. Um, and it's a really beautiful town. There's lots of nice little coffee shops and cafes. They've still got the old school barber shops. And um, yeah, this always feels very festive to walk around here. So we're just walking up to this church and um, just found out that this church is over 1,200 years old, which is absolutely crazy. I'm not gonna show you guys another cemetery because you're probably bored to death. Um, but yeah, love a bit of history. So the other day it was actually Remembrance Day, which is something we have in the UK where we remember all the soldiers that fought in uh, World War One and Two, and we often get poppies to commemorate commemorate them so this is a little remembrance tribute and then you can see all the names along here but you could never handle the fucking You're so cute. You are. You're joining me again for another countryside walk. Um, we do a lot of walking here in the countryside because I basically live in the countryside. There's tons of villages and yeah, Hertfordshire is just covered in beautiful countryside. So we come for walks quite often. We're really lucky again with the weather today. Blue skies and sunshine. So I'm just gonna take you on a walk and I look like a little Russian doll today. Um, it's one degrees today, absolutely freezing. So I'm really wrapped up warm, trying not to freeze to death still. I don't wanna overwhelm you guys with churchyard content. Um, someone in the last video was like, oh, I wasn't expecting so much to see so many um, churches and graveyards, but um, they're just very common in these little villages, but they're such beautiful churches. So mum and dad are currently collecting 
holly and ivy for decorations for us to decorate the house all Christmassy. So you can actually come out to the countryside and snip off the holly and the ivy. And it's funny, it's reminded me of the summer vlog I filmed a couple of years ago. I'll link it up here for you guys. Um, when we went for a walk in the countryside in summer and you were doing a similar thing. Well, that was with the... Um, you were slows. teaching us all... Up. Yeah, all right, Sorry. it's in my... Right you were teaching us about all the berries on the bushes and things like that. <laughs> this is Holly. The leaves, Holly. Holly and the berries. Holly and the berries. Wow, look at those berries up there. But yeah, these are all just growing on the bush. Yeah, and you can pick them. There we go. I'll get that bit there. That's the last bit. That'll go around the fireplace. Look nice. Beautiful berries on that one. Yeah, but lovely around the fireplace and that one. I'm really <laughs> starting to freeze. Um, but I just wanted to let you know in the UK we have thousands of public footpaths which means that there's um, so many walks that you can do throughout the English countryside and they're all signposted um, and I think so many of them are like unexplored lots of people can live in towns and villages and not necessarily know about all the like countryside walks that are right on their doorstep so I suppose it's not something you'd really do if you were being a tourist here in in the UK for a short amount of time but if you do move here it's always um, nice to take note of all the different like local footpaths and walks that you have right on your doorstep oh my god I'm kind of blending in with the background here and look at this open land it's just I mean there is open land in Singapore don't get me wrong but um yeah, there's just so much countryside here in the UK. There's even frost on the leaves. That's how cold it is. I'm in a cute little village and uh, we're gonna go to the pub for lunch and I want to take you guys along because I don't think I've seen you, shown you. I don't think I've shown you um, a cute English pub yet. Um, it's so much milder today. Um, it's about 11 degrees Celsius. Thank goodness, I'm not freezing to death. I don't even have a jumper on. Um, so I'm clearly acclimatizing. Um, I bet it'll be like one degree again tomorrow. I'll probably speak too soon. Oh my God, it looks so festive. After a delicious pub lunch, we took a trip to the local Christmas shop in the village. We actually are not buying a real tree this year. We already have a tree, um, but it was really nice to look at the real Christmas trees. I don't know, something about this just makes me feel super festive. They also had this amazing kind of Christmas grotto inside as well with every Christmas decoration you could imagine. And I really liked how they laid out different displays of Christmas trees and so many baubles. But yeah, this was such a lovely festive shop and definitely got me in the Christmas spirit. decided to pop into the tea room we're actually going to go to the movies the cinema tonight we've got about an hour to kill so we're going to go to this cute little tea room so if anyone that doesn't know tea rooms are also scattered all around the uk and they're usually like quaint little shops where you can go in get yourself a nice pot of tea or some coffee and they usually sell cakes 
or scones as well some places do high tea we came here and had a nice cup of tea before we went to the cinema i was taking my parents to go see june the movie which they absolutely loved um, but we had a bit of time to kill so this was a lovely cup of tea okay. all right dad's making um what are you making making a ch chicken curry a chicken curry indian curry yeah i've been i've been cooking all the onions and tomatoes and the garlic i've been doing that now i'm gonna put this in and cook the chicken I do a lot of Chinese and Asian cooking and, and uh, I like doing curries. Yeah, you, Dad always used to make um, chicken rice yeah. years ago before I moved to Singapore, which is a really weird coincidence actually. But why do you like Asian food so much? It's got so much flavour. It's really good. I just love, <laughs> like it. And because I spend a lot of time travelling around Asia, I, I like all that, all that food, you know? Yeah. And I like curries as well, so it's good, yeah. Yeah, so Asian food out of an English kitchen. Yeah, so I'm just cooking the chicken off at the moment, frying that off. I'm just going to add a little bit of lemon juice. What's in there? That's chicken, that's got onions and garlic, ginger, all in there. So I'm going to put a bit of lemon in. What's that, tomato? Yeah, tomato based. And then I'm going to put all the spices in now. Turmeric, uh, garam masala, uh, cumin, coriander. That's all in there, so, and a bit of Madras curry powder. Nice. So I'm going to mix all that up now. And then um, you've prepared the onions here for onion, onion barges. Onion barges later on, yeah. What's in here? That is um, in the onion barges. It's a pinch of bicarbonate soda, six ounces of flour, seven ounces of water, um, some chilli and um, a whole green chilli, finely chopped. And you mix all that up in with that, with the flour. And then just add the onions. And that'll be, and then what I'll do is, I'll try, once I've cooked this curry, I'll transfer it into a dish, and then I'll use the wok, fill it up with oil, and then I'll get, drop all the barges in there. Mm -hmm. And they take roughly about 14 minutes, 13, 14 minutes a batch. So that's it now for now, that's just cooking that off. And then I'll add the coconut milk, the chickpeas, uh, some green cardamoms, and the bay leaves that will go into the curry. Yummy! Yeah, oh, and then we've got poppadoms. We don't make poppadoms, we buy them from Tesco's. Yeah. <laughs> but they're so good. That's, that's the spinach that's gonna go in that curry. Okay. When so. I was young, I used to buy these just to snack on, really, really bad. But so good. So good, but so bad. Yum, 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 yum. Right, just about to put the barges in. Little portions like that. Let me get them on. All right, guys. Here is the finish result. It looks incredible. Here's the curry, and this is how the onion barges turned out. We're actually taking this over to my mum and dad's friend's um, house now and we're going to have dinner there. But I just wanted to show you how it turned out. It looks incredible and I know it's going to taste delicious. Um, hopefully we've got some mango chutney as well that we can have this way. Mmm! That's really, really good. Oh my god, it's so good. Got your approval, eh? It's delicious. Well done. Okay, see you later, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more vlogs from the UK. I'll be back with another one very soon. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.